Good morning, guys. It is another packing day. Um, it is, I cannot believe we're going into the second week of packing. And um, that means only after this week, there's only going to be like two weeks, uh, two and a half weeks left of packing. Um, so today I, well, first we're going to be doing some yard work. And then I plan on um, doing some stuff in the kitchen because there's only a couple of dishes that I've made myself use so that I can pack the other ones um, and finish up my brother's room. Um, so overall, today's been a good day. It's not raining for one thing, so that's an improvement. The past couple days, it's been uh, raining a lot, and it, got, it went from really dry to really muddy, so I was like, please stop raining. Uh, so that's an improvement, and it's also not too hot today, so it's been a good weather day all around and feeling pretty good today as well. Um, I actually woke up this morning and I had no pain and I was just like, yes, thank you. <laughs> like, ate with no pain, I had no pain, I was just like so happy and it just makes the day so much easier. Um, so, yeah, that's uh, pretty much how my morning's been. I did all my normal CF stuff, I have hiccups, and um, Apparently they don't want to go away, and um, so I plan on just blasting some music, which I think honestly is one of my favorite parts of packing, is just being able to like blast music, because you're going from room to room, so you're just blasting it and listening to it and dancing, and it just makes it a lot more fun. So, blast some music, get some packing done, um, and uh, have a good productive day, and hopefully these hiccups will go away. So... Hope you guys are having a good day as well, whatever it looks like, and I'll see you guys in a little while. The cat is pretty sure I'm just building her, a uh, castle over here. Ninja, we're building you a castle? Just a big castle? Hmm? Hey guys, so I'm getting the dogs taken care of before I head down to the barn, but I just wanted to talk about, um, quickly, like you saw that time lapse I did, um, and I was thinking about, hey, it's only a month from today, like a month from this very date. Hey guys, so I am getting the dogs taken care of right now before I head down to the barn. Um, I'm going to go a little bit early tonight because I want to do some training with Blondie, but you saw the time lapse that I did of packing, and I now have 14 boxes packed. I've got my room and my brother's room done, except for a couple things here and there that just didn't really fit in any of the boxes. Um, and I was thinking about, like, you know, a month from today, a month from this day, September 19th, we will be um, packing up and leaving for Florida. And it also made me think about wow, my implant surgery is, like, really close, and, um, you know, I've been excited, and I still am, I'm excited to start this next chapter, um, and finally, you know, fix all these, you know, the stuff that's been going on for almost a year now, but it, it was like, I've been excited, and I haven't really, you know, had fear much about it, I've just been really ready for the surgery, and today it kind of hit me when I was looking at the thing and realizing there was only 18 days until my surgery. It was just like this moment of terror. Like, just like this moment of fear gripping terror that my surgery is only 18 days away. And I was just like, holy cow, you know, like, I'm ready for it, but I'm not ready for it, you know, just because of... The absolute nightmare that happened from my surgery last year and the uh, following 18 days of anaphylaxis was not fun. And even though I know, like, 
you know, they know not to use nickel, they know not to use cobalt, they're not gonna purposely send me into an anaphylactic attack. Um, they didn't last time either, we didn't know, but, um, it's just like, I don't know. I guess today the ner the excitement is kind of slowly being replaced by nervousness. Um, and, you know, I've tried to kind of just put it out of my mind, and in a way I have, because I've been packing and stuff, but realizing today, like, holy cow, there's 18 days until, you know, they're going to be cutting into my gums and drilling into my bone. Um, it's like, wow. So it was a little bit terrifying, um, but I'm going to do my best to just continue to put it out of my mind and, um, you know, head to the barn and stuff, but I definitely had this moment of, of terror today um, about the upcoming surgery. Alright, hi Mims. Now we need to dab it. Mm -hmm. There's a foot feeling. Mm -hmm. There's a foot feeling. I don't have any apples today, sorry. No apples today. Not today. She must be feeling somewhat better because she wouldn't even stand on the gravel. He said that she would start feeling better. It would drain. If you're wondering what I'm talking about, she had an abscess in her hoof. Um, hi, Blondie. Hey, Chip. Hey, Brownie. Hi. They're all like, do you have apples today? I knew you had something delicious with you yesterday. I kind of wonder if it's still there. What you all thinking? What you all thinking? I don't have any apples today. So sorry. Looks like it might rain. Hopefully not. <coughs> we'll see. Alright. Oh, what'd you do to your nose, sweet girl? Huh? What'd you do to your nose? She's walking better. A lot better. I know she's still a little limpy, but she looks a lot more comfortable. <coughs> Alright. Cows are removing. Yeah, well, just gonna hang out with them. Ideally, I want to get a little bit of training done with Bondi here. Um, so. Yeah, good girls. Well, that was fun. Um, I'm doing work with Blondie and Brownie because they're basically the only two left that need to be worked with. And Blondie's doing pretty good. I'm giving her a break. Brownie, not so much. Um, now, I will admit it's probably partly my fault because she's really bad about picking up her feet and there's a time she almost fell on top of me, so I get a little nervous around her when I'm, you know, picking up her feet and stuff. But I try not to be. I try to be assertive. And she stepped on my toes. So that was fun. Thankfully, she only caught, like, the edge of my boot, like, right here. So, like, she wasn't stepping on my whole foot. Um, but then she just stood there for a minute, so I was like, thank you, Brownie. Uh, it's what I've always wanted. Crushed toes. Um, <clears throat> but Blondie, on the other hand, is doing amazing. She is being a rock star. Um, so, at least one of them's going good. And, uh, my goal is to really just get them all, you know, able to have their feet handled and lead well before I leave um, in September. And I've accomplished that with Chip and Pistol Annie, which is nice because my workload has gone down from four horses to two. Um, but I'm still working on these two. So it does help because it gives me more time to, you know, because I'm more focused on um, two horses now instead of four. So it gives me more time to work with each horse. Um, and Blondie, I really think we'll get there. I'm not really that concerned about it. It's just slow and steady, but she's willing to work. She just gets confused. Like I said, Brownie scares me a little bit, but we'll figure it out. I always find a way to figure it out, most of the time. <laughs> most of the time, sometimes it's an utter disaster, but that's life. So hopefully we'll be able to figure it out with her and uh, she'll stop being so, so stubborn. Hey guys, so I am on my way home and it turned out to be such a nice evening. Um, just soaking up the last little bit of 
summer, you know, and summer evenings, and I've said it before, and I'll probably say it again, but I love summer evenings, like, sun is going down, you can't really see it, but <laughs> the sun is going down, and there's like a cool tinge in the air, because there's storms building up, and there's a breeze, and it's just, it's just one of those beautiful summer evenings that I love, um, so when it's, when it's nice like tonight, and the evenings like this, I always like, slow down my pace and take a little bit longer to walk home um, than I normally would, but yeah, it's just, it was a really nice night tonight. Hey guys, I'm going to go ahead and say good night. I just got back from the horses. I actually got home early tonight. He must have fed them early because it's only 7.30. Usually I'm not home till like 8. Um, so I'm having a snack while I upload this, and then I'm going to take the dogs out and take a shower and do my treatment and wind down for the night. I cannot tell you guys how happy I'm going to be when I'm done with these antibiotics because it gets kind of annoying like on nights where tonight like I'm kind of done with stuff early so it's like hey I could go to bed early. No I gotta stay up till midnight because <laughs> I'm I'm on amoxicillin right now and I have to take it at 8 in the morning, uh, 4 in the afternoon and 12 at night and um yeah it's it's getting to be a little obnoxious but I'll be done with it on uh on Wednesday, so not much longer, just a couple more days. Um, and hey, I took the pain away, so I'm not gonna complain, but it is a little bit obnoxious having to stay up till midnight every night. Um, but, oh well, just watch some YouTube or whatever, but I'm going to uh, get all my CF stuff done so I can just chill for the rest of the night. So thank you guys so much for coming along on my day today, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Good night.